Everybody taking a knee ahead of kickoff. That message has been unrelenting all season long that there is no place for discrimination. So we are underway on the final day. There's 23 points this season going into this final day. And they're in trouble here. Kai Havertz in behind. And Backman able to make the save. Called into action for the first time. But it was a big early chance for Kai Havertz. Yeah, and this is time after time. Last week against Leicester, one straight ball, one opening and cut straight through the Watford defence. This is Thiago Silva. Rhys James, back to Ziyech. Threading it through for Kennedy. Brings it down neatly, flashed in, and then turned in by Kai Havertz. And Chelsea's early pressure is rewarded. Straightforward finish in front of goal on his return to the team. Thomas Tuchel's side in front. And it had been coming already. Well, he couldn't miss. Missed a chance earlier. And this one was put on a plate for him. You see Kennedy at the bottom of your screen. All the space and time in the world. And he's had that space from kickoff. It's can he find the pass? Can he find the cross? Havertz alive at the far post. And Samir, and he's back to him. Wasn't sure where he was, didn't know where he was. Two, through two Watford bodies. As the cross comes in and from there. He's got a few goals this season. I doubt there's many easier. And they come again, though, with uh, Kai Havertz. With the little flick. And uh, another sight of goal for Saul. Zies here with the cross. Mason Mount in all sorts of space. Couldn't quite control the header. Chelsea have given it away here. Saul caught in uh, possession, trying to uh, win the ball back. Real battle going on. Cleverly's effort blocked. Mendy's come a long way. Payembe. And they have worked it well here. Didn't quite have the angle. Mendy was worried for a moment, but ultimately not required. That's better from Watford. A bit of pressure. A bit of instinctive play from Kembe, and it's a lovely touch. I think he was expecting and wanting the, the ball back to him to allow him to shoot first time. Just ask him a bit quick. Battle on for Reese James over there. Up against Kamara. He takes the throw quickly. Probably a little too quickly as it turned out there. Not able to profit from it, but win the ball back well here. Josh King trying to find the time and space to turn. Options in red in the middle as it is flashed in. Comes all the way through for Feminia. And calls Edouard Mendy into notable action really for the first time this afternoon. There's no conviction in the strike, but a lot of opportunities to get the ball in for Watford, and this was the first ball of any real quality. Needed that touch. Kiko Feminier at that far post had the time, but no real conviction in it. Looking to link with Kai Havertz. Mount again, able to get the shot away. Bankman got something on it. And can put... Under pressure, it's a strong, low hand for Backman with that save. Rudiger forward to Kennedy. He was heavily involved in the early stages, and that's a good ball for Kai Havertz, who's so unfortunate not to find his and Chelsea's second goal right at the end of the first half here. There's João Pedro for Watford with the King in support of the attack. Antonio Rudiger, who is with him, just holding it up. Chelsea have got bodies back in the box, but may well need them here. It is uh, well worked. And is there the finish at the end of it? Mendy makes the save. And it's grateful to see that drop just wide of his target in the end. Much better from Watford. Jao Pedro close to levelling it up. Yeah, and he's the main man, Jao Pedro, for this Watford side. And it's brilliant one-touch football. And a penalty area in, in that space. You just want to buy yourself that little bit of area in and around the penalty spot to get your shot away. Mendy's sharp to it, he decides to come, decides to start moving outside of his goal. Such a big man, and because of that momentum forward into the ball, means he gets enough of a hand on the ball. Certainly suggests that uh, Ben Chilwell isn't uh, likely to come into consideration for all but a couple of minutes or so. Now that's risky, Thiago Silva kept his composure, he was the uh, 
the coolest head in the house in dealing with that. Ziyech. Ziyech is going to have a go, and Beckman had it covered. Might open up for the shots. And Beckman takes evasive action in dealing with it. It was struck viciously, swerving from Ross Barkley. And Beckman equal to it. He's got the ability, Reese Barkley, and it's good pressure from Angola Kante that gives him the chance. From there, he's just trying to feel it, work it into that far top corner. More of a knuckleball than a curve. Backman, that footwork, it's not a high shot, but with the movement, he wasn't going to take the chances. Had a bit of an impact already since his uh, introduction. Hakim Ziyech is going to take the corner kick. Only partially cleared, what followed from uh, Mason Mount. Wasn't as threatening as it might have been. Can they get the shot away here? Barkley being well marshalled by Kiembe. And when the shot comes, it is uh, far from threatening. Yeah. Xiao Pedro, Adam Messina. Time to set himself before slinging in the cross. And there's the finish for 1-1. One, one. And Watford have their goal. He hasn't been on long, Dan Gosling. He's the unlikely Hornets hero. As they sign off potentially in style at Stamford Bridge from the Premier League. A smile of satisfaction from Roy Hodgson. A goal for Watford. 1-1. One, one. That's a fantastic header. Well watched and well judged by Dan Gosling. It's made by a wonderful ball in. There's not much emotion shown from the new manager or the old manager on the goal. But as the game's worn on, the space has opened up. You see at the bottom of your screen, Messina's got all the time, all the space. And allowed to feel, feel that ball into the box and very, very rarely, very little in terms of attacking options, attacking choices. But they've made this one count. It's a fantastic finish to a disappointing season for Watford. And it's ending with a moment to remember at least for the travelling Watford fans. There's Rhys James, there is still time yet for another twist. Bankman couldn't keep it out. And Chelsea are back in front through Ross Barkley. The response is almost instant. The lead is restored with 90 minutes on the clock. And these are the best efforts from Backman in the goal. Scored by Barkley, but it's made by a wonderful ball. By Rhys James. A give and go initially. On the right-hand side. The space that he's been afforded, but then the outside of the boot onto the forehead of Ross Barkley's hardly got to move, but he's got to get the power into the header. Stepping away from Feminia at the far post. Backman's best efforts to keep it out are in vain, and immediately getting back into the game, they go back behind, and it's the stories of Watford's season. Click here to subscribe.